welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I'll be showing you a very simple makeup routine. It's definitely going to be a beginner kind of routine, but it will make you look very stylish and glam at the same time. So festivals are just around the corner and you can use this look for any of your occasion and you will feel good about it because with less effort, you will definitely look very cool with this look. So without further delay, let's just get on to the video. So first step is to secure the hair using a hair clip so that it doesn't come on my face while I'm doing my makeup. You can use a hairband or a scrunchie, it's up to you. Now next step is to moisturize the face. So I'm using this Biotic Morning Nectar Cream. You can use any moisturizer of your choice. Just make sure that it moisturizes and hydrates your skin very well. So I'll just apply all over my face and not to forget the neck and I'll massage it well so that my skin is completely hydrated. Before applying the makeup, it's important to moisturize because that is going to help in preventing your skin from drying because we'll be applying a lot of products after this. So it's not just the face which needs to be moisturized but also the lips. For that, I'm using Vaseline here. I'll take a good amount and I'll massage my lips for a few seconds. Now I'll prep my face using the Prep Me Up Primer from Nykaa and just a small quantity is enough. This will help in giving a smooth canvas for the next step. For foundation, I'm using Nykaa Skin Shield in the shade Toasty Caramel and I'll apply all over my face. With the help of a damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend it well. As in, I have washed this beauty blender and I've squeezed out the excess water. And now with the help of this, I'll blend it very patiently. Make sure that the blending process is given some time so that there are no patches on the face. Also, wherever you feel that the scars are deeper, just apply a little more foundation and blend it again and also make sure to cover your neck as well now for concealer I'm using LA Pro and this is in the shade medium beige I'll cover my pigmentation dark circle acne marks everything with the help of this so with the blender again just blend it well One more important step is that you pull your hair back and make sure to blend it there as well so that there is no shade difference visible. I still feel that some scar and my mole is visible so I am using another concealer and this is Wet n Wild's Medium Tawny and I will just use my finger to blend it. I'll do it very carefully so that it doesn't show up again. For my brows, I'm using Wet n Wild Eyebrow Palette and this has a spoolie and an angular brush and also a mirror. And I'll be using the light brown shade for the inner corner of my eyebrows and the dark brown for the outer corner. I'll give it some good time to make sure that the shapes are even. Now to set my face, I am using this compact powder from Fit Me and this is in the shade Sun Beige. This also has a mirror and a sponge. It's very important to set the face uh, either using a compact powder or a setting powder because we have applied a lot of liquid product on our face that is the foundation and the concealer. So this will pack it up so that it doesn't easily transfer on our hands or phone. To contour my face, I am using Sugar's Taupe Topper shade and a thick brush. I will dust off the excess and then I will apply on the outer corner of my cheek and then I will bring it inside. Make sure that you first place the brush on the outer corner of the cheek so that if there is any excess powder, it will be applied on the outer corner and from there you can easily blend it inwards. Make sure that you blend it really well. From the outer corner, you have to bring it diagonally downwards from ears to your mouth. And once that is nicely blended, I will apply the blush. For blush, I am using Sugar's Coral Climax shade. And this has a very good pigment and that's why I don't have to drag it on my face. Just dabbing it itself is going to give the color on my cheeks. So with the help of my finger, I am just going to blend it well. Now for the eyeshadow, I am using this Nykaa's Beachside Peach palette. And I will be using this peachy brown shade. It's a matte finish powder. 
This will be my transition shade and for that I am using this round thick brush and I will blend it really well. This will not be on my eyelid, this is like the transition shade so this will be little above my eyelid area. Now with the help of a small round brush I will be applying the peach glitter shade. When it comes to glitter shade you have to just take it and just place it on the eyelid. No need to drag as such, just take it and place it. In fact you can even use your finger, just take it and place it so that it gives a good coverage and pigmentation. Now for the eyeliner, I will be using the Lakme eyeliner, my all time favorite. You can make a thick wing or a thin wing, however you like. I have hooded eyes, hence I prefer very thin line usually. Now for kajal, I am using Lakme Iconic Kajal and I will be applying very little kajal on my lower waterline and I will also tight line my eyes, that is I will apply kajal on my upper waterline as well. So all you have to do is just lift your skin a little bit and from the outer corner to the inner corner you have to just drag it and that is how you apply the kajal on the upper waterline. It might look little tough but it's very easy if you get used to it. This will help in giving fuller look to your eyes. Especially when you are not wearing lashes, this will help. For the lower waterline I will apply a very thin line, it's just going to be a little kajal there because I have to apply another color outside the waterline. So now comes the beautiful shade which is the turquoise shade from Lakme Iconic. I'm not sure you can see or it focus ho jana. It's not focusing. <sighs> so okay, let me attach the picture and show you. So this is how the shade looks. So you can use any other shade also like blue, green, anything of your choice. And all you have to do is make a thick line outside the waterline. Take your time and make a nice even line. Now for mascara, I am using Sugar's Mascara. While applying mascara, make sure that you wiggle and apply so that a thick coat is applied. If you are not using lashes, it's always advisable that you use two coats of mascara so that it gives a very nice thick fuller look to your lashes. Now this is done. Next step is applying the highlighter. For that, I am using Wet n Wild's Precious Petals Highlighter. With the help of my finger, I will be applying it on my cheekbones and I will be blending it really well. If you want a very natural highlighter then this is the best one to go for because this doesn't have big glitter chunks and it gives a very natural shade. So I'll be applying on my cheekbones, nose bridge, eyebrow. Also a little bit of highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes as well. I'll also apply some on my cupid's bow. For lipstick I'm using Megalast Catsuit Liquid Lipstick from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Mocha, it's a very pretty nude shade. If your skin tone is similar to mine, medium to dark, then this is a best nude lipstick. Like one of the best, I can say. It has an angular tip which makes it even more easier to apply. So this is how it looks, it's a perfect nude shade for the skin tone. But yes, as usual, I feel like mixing another color of lipstick every girl's problem. So yeah, I'll be using another lipstick here from Faces Canada. It's a nice beetroot dark pink shade. So I'll just dab a little so that it gives a pinkish tinge and that's it. I'm all done. that's it guys we have come to the end of this video i hope you found this video useful and if you did then please do let me know in the comment section and also if you happen to recreate this look then please do tag me on instagram my instagram handle will be somewhere here i would love to see your version of recreation and one more important thing is you can just create this look with multiple colors like if your outfit is blue and pink combo then you can execute the same with pink eyeshadow and a blue eyeliner so you can just play around with colors but make sure that you doll up very nicely for the upcoming festive season and before i leave one more important thing please do like share and subscribe the video you know the drill it's very important every like and every subscriber matters a lot so please do that and uh, i'll see you guys soon in the next video until then take care bye